so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Ready. Ready. Good. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight. But if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division. And Habib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. Too easy. Khabib Nurmagomedov gets the early takedown. Opposition knew it was coming, and they will stop it as usual. Well, he'll tell you. He'll tell you that he's going to take you down. And he has so many ways of getting to that takedown. He's as good as they come in terms of setting him up, and right away he gets to fight exactly where he needs it to be. That is a damaging kick that lands. And he blocks the shot there. Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA kind of like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early, DC. Oh, he scored with that uppercut. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big double leg, level change. Got his guard pass. Attempting a choke now. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Nurmago Meta. Well, he's connected on a few hooks so far here in the round. And there it is again. So every time he goes back to the well with that hook, he seems to find the target. He does a great job of finding the placement on that shot. It is a great weapon to have. And right into side control. Oh my goodness, that dark choke is very tight. Right, on, oh, now right, he's right. in trouble. Wow, he gets out and now reverses position. Beautiful submission defense by this guy. He was constantly under attack. Grapplers delight tonight. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Rippling uppercut for him there. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Another punch to the head. Double jab there by Nurmagomedov. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Another big takedown. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Superman punch now. So three minutes off the clock in our first round. Well, Khabib Nurmagomedov might have been able to win a kickboxing match here tonight, but taking the path of least resistance and really having his way. And John, I think that points to the fight IQ. Knowing that you possess all the skills, but you stay in your wheelhouse. You take your opponent down over and over again and try to drown him. Khabib has long said he will take you into deep water. He has done that tonight, and that is why he's been so successful. Oh, Kamura attack. Yup. Oh, he's got it locked in tight now. He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. Making all these shots count. That was a slick transition. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Nice kick to the body. Oh, nice. Nice. 
And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two. Nurmagomedov gets the double leg takedown now. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Nurmagomedov's trying to get a triangle here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. Massive shot from the top. Final seconds of round one. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, second round underway. All right, so we'll see how it goes here in this round. Previous round, it was all him just taking his opponent down, really every time he entered. Yeah, every time he got in on the leg, he was able to secure a finish. And that is the idea you want as a wrestler going into a fight. If you have to change up the technique, it's fine. It's not always going to be the very first attack. When it's the first attack, you're very happy. But most times, you got to change things together if you want to take down a great fighter. And we know how hard it is to maintain the wrestling, right? The hours required in the gym to make sure that wrestling is still at a high level. He's putting in the time. Yes, he's putting in the time. And also, you see it in his movements. When he gets to an attack, he's constantly shifting positions. He's constantly moving his opponent. He's constantly trying to give him too much information to process. Right. And that comes from a lifetime of wrestling. If he just started this, it would be very difficult to trick his opponent. But now, by giving him so many different looks, he's been able to secure takedown after takedown after takedown. Nurmagomedov going for the takedown. He misses. Block that punch. Is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Big right hand. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Oh, nice land there by Nurmagomedov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like the great timing on that double leg. Get the ball here. Nurmagomedov is attempting a triangle here. Let's see if he can finish the deal. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. Oh, you can hear the crowd reaction every time he lands another hook. The previous round, it was hooks and bunches, more of the same here. More of the same, John. You watch a guy who's in a flow, who's in a rhythm, who's in a position where they don't feel like they could ever miss that shot. And that's what we're witnessing tonight. Look at that. Recognizing about to lose position. All right, working inside the closed guard now. He's got to start to get to the get-up process. Because everybody talks like you just get up, you don't. It's a process, right? You get to the underhook, you build to the elbow, then you start to gain height to get back to your feet. Lands the ground and pound strike. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. 
starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Gotta be careful here. Oh, right into Mount. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You, know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm while you have the advantage. Oh, he's got a guillotine here. Oh, that gilly is tight. up on the submission now. Well, he had it tight, John, but then he decided to keep the dominant position by giving it up. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, he postures up in a big head strike by Nermago Medov. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Finish, finish, really finish. good job to land these strikes from top position. Back mount now. Oh. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this round. He had a big effort there in round one. Really had the wrestling on full display. John, if he was looking to come out here, secure takedowns to feel good about the way things were going, he gets an A on his report card. Because takedown after takedown was secured, top position was secured. Watch that clock start to go up for top control. Him and his team are ecstatic because yeah. they know when they're on top, when they're secure takedowns, they're winning. Now he's going full mount. He's got to be careful here. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Meta. Oh, I'm trying to. Arm triangle, arm triangle. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. He's up. What's the mission defense on this play? And he is back up to his feet. Beautiful jab lane. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Nermago Medov. I mean, is this thing on the feet? How many times can you say punch to the head? Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. He lands a big knee to the body. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Nermago Medov gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Great takedown defense right now by the champ. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the early rounds. Medov's 
in half court. Are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Clinch position. Beautiful elbow over the top. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Ooh, right into side control, DC. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolating it to try to get a Kimura. Notice he'll step over the head to try to get the Kimura. Wow, somehow, someway, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. He's a big shot, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Tremendous body kick lands for this guy. Oh, well done to block the elbow there. Good defense. Nice shot lands from the bottom. There it is. Now he's going to mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, postures up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Nurmagomedov. Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a strike. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That could affect the judging. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, and transitions right into side control. Changing the position. Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his po opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the arm. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. So Khabib Nurmagomedov at his methodical best tonight and gets another takedown right there. Khabib is one of those guys that will tell you what he's gonna do, and he will go and he will do it. And right now, that's being shown to be true, because time and time again, he is securing takedowns on his opponent. We'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, how about that strong reversal on the ground? That's in pretty deep. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Big grounded palm. Great grounded palm by this man. Oh, great transition there as he reverses to top position. 
Beautiful work on the ground there by Nurmagomedov. All right, side control now. Ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. We march on three minutes to go. Well, block that punch. Hands up, hands up. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nemanko Medov's got a nasty bruise starting to appear on that left side. We'll keep an eye on it. Could pay dividends later. That's a great punch. Does a lot of damage when you hit him with the body that clean. Well, he's got a pretty good side kick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Oh, great submission defense. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Under two minutes to go. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage you can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nurmago Medov gets yet another takedown. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on the side of his body. Just mixing everything up there. Finding his target, using his punches, his kicks, and everything else to try to do damage to his opponent's body. I love this game plan. Throwing that jab, no good. Nice jab. Great timing on that take. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you. For the bottom fighter, what does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to... Khabib's trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. Great job landing from the top position. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. 10 seconds remaining here in round four. By close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions on his back. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round, fourth cup. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Quick jab. He's got him in the clinch once again. Nice. Nicely done. Punch over the top. Now getting that left hand home to the target. 
Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this day. All right, he's hanging out inside the close guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. And there you go, again, half guard. Nurmago Medov's back in full guard. Look at that, it's tight. against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was gonna go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. Side control now. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Oh, great ground shot there, and that one opened him up. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, and he's back up again. Look at those weapons. Look how he uses his knees to the body. Oh, uppercut. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm, landing those nice, beautiful punches. Under two minutes now with which to work. Oh, he could be a one-eyed fighter here pretty soon. That left eye's starting to shut. If you're gonna go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. Another takedown attempt, not there. Straight punch is good. Straight right, he misses. Oh, a huge block there. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position coming here to try to stop this fight. Nice crack there. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Beautiful shot to the head from the clinch here. Level change there, goes for the takedown. Nurmago Medov's in half guard now. All right, side control now, DC, you know he's... Yeah, he's gonna try to attack Kimura here. He'll try to get him up on his right hip so he can get pressure. To... Oh, he escapes! He got out to me. Wow, that is great submission defense. As his opponent postures up, he opens it. Oh, almost like you saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. He's gotta move his head. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nirmago Medov.
right, so judges' scorecards needed. Not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that O in the loss column. And if you want to win a decision, you want it to look like this. You want it. To